I'd like to thank everyone for coming here today, uh, all the MPs, of course, but particularly highlight uh, Rana Ambrose, uh, leader of the official opposition, whose uh, government uh, over the past years uh, uh, worked very hard to make, uh, make this project a reality, and thank you, and I'm uh, honored to be able to continue in this. Uh, Mr. Tom Mulcair, a leader of the New Democrat Party, that has, uh, uh, he has always uh, uh, stood strongly on this stage to share uh, in the uh, obligation to remember uh, that we all have uh, in terms of the Holocaust, in terms of the work we need to continue to do. All the various community leaders uh, assembled here today as well. Uh, this is an important piece of uh, how Ottawa will showcase the fact that we, and Canada indeed, uh, that we remember uh, and that we will never forget. I want to thank Rabbi Friedman and acknowledge the efforts of Franz Sunshine chair of the National Holocaust Monument Development Council, along with her board, who have worked so hard to make this important memorial a reality. Just this past July, I was privileged to watch the ground, walk the grounds of Auschwitz with Nate Lipsiger, who uh, unfortunately wasn't able to join us here today. It was a tremendously moving experience, and it will stay with me forever. This monument honors the memory of over six million Jews who perished, and perished in the Holocaust. It also pays tribute to the persecuted Roma and Jehovah's Witnesses, as well as victims from the disabled, LGBTQ, and other communities. It stands as a reminder of the evils of anti-Semitism and reminds us of the courage, hope, and perseverance of those who survived. It speaks to strength in the face of unbearable adversity, but it also speaks to the dangers of intolerance and discrimination. With this important symbol, we are confronted with the heartbreaking realities of the past, unspeakable acts of destruction, and the suffering that men, women, and children endured. Nous sommes ici pour nous rappeler l'énormité du crime qui a été commis, et surtout de nous rappeler de notre responsabilité d'agir, de défendre les valeurs d'égalité et de justice qui sont au cœur de notre pays. Nous avons le devoir d'enseigner à nos enfants que la haine et l'intolérance n'ont pas leur place au sein de notre société, que nous devons protéger les droits de chacun pour assurer la liberté de tous. Après tout, n'oublions jamais que la diversité est une source de force incroyable pour toute société. Et plus que jamais, nous resterons sans voix et pardon, et plus jamais nous resterons sans voix face à l'injustice et à la discrimination dans toutes ses formes. We must stand together to protect our values and speak up against those who elevate themselves by pushing others down. As Canadians and as citizens of the world, we must fight the hatred and the fear that once fueled such deplorable acts. May we never forget the stories of these victims and the important lessons of the Holocaust. Je tiens encore une fois à remercier tous ceux qui se sont joints à nous aujourd'hui pour rendre hommage aux victimes de cette tragédie. Merci.